Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lena and I'd like to show you, uh, to you uh, my birthday book haul. It started quite innocently. I wanted to have my own copy of Brides Head Revisited. I borrowed this book from library and I wanted to reread it sometime. So I ordered it online. But then I wanted to see what else they had by Evelyn War because I like the style of the author and I wanted to read some more and I ordered Decline and Fall and also Prose, Memoirs and Essays This is a second uh, hand copy and it's in wonderful condition. It's a hardback. The quality of paper is wonderful. <laughs> and it was quite cheap. When I say it was quite cheap, <laughs> it uh, in this particular case it uh, cost as much as a new uh, book published in Russia. And paperbacks <laughs> Cheap paperbacks. They are usually twice as expensive as the as Russian paperbacks, but anyway, they are cheaper than most uh, books in English that I can buy in Russia. Well, anyway, I wanted to see what else they have in a second-hand books department, and I bought. A short story collection by William Makepeace Thackeray. I want to read um, The Venti Fair, but to be honest, I want to read anything by him because I haven't read any books by him. And it, it's in a superb condition, and the quality of paper is wonderful. It's a hardback, it was cheap. And I bought another book by him. The Book of Snobs. So I'm looking forward to acquainting myself with this author. I don't know why, because I don't really like O'Genry. I bought a copy by him, The Skylight Room and Other Stories. Because it was cheap. <laughs> it's a hardback. The, quality, the paper quality is not uh, as good. And it's quite short, <laughs> but anyway, I bought it. Then I bought uh, a couple of essays on writing by Mark Twain and by Robert Louis Stevenson. I'm looking forward to <laughs> read those. And I'm very unhappy about the size. <laughs> I would like them to be much, much bigger. <laughs> um, then I bought some books that I missed in bookshops. I couldn't find in uh, actual bookshops. It's the Martian, the Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury. To be honest with you, I absolutely love the Dandelion wine by him. Uh, I've read it three times, maybe more. And I like Farewell, Farewell Summer. But I was told that uh, those books are not typical uh, of Ray Bradbury. I want I want to try his sci-fi stories, but it might be very difficult for me. <laughs> I don't know. I want to try them. And I uh, very much like Mom, and this is Cakes and Ale by him. So far my favorite is The Painted Whale. I read the theater in the institute. It was uh, it was all right, but uh, the painted whale is my favorite so far. I also wanted to try uh, some cheap 
cheap books published abroad. One of them is uh, in the Collins Classic uh, series, and I bought it, to tell you the truth, uh, because of nostalgic feelings. I've been to Venice, and I like it very, very much, and the picture is, uh, the picture is beautiful, and I couldn't resist. It's The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare, which is probably Shakespeare, I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, you will forgive me, won't you? Uh, well, I'm afraid I won't be buying any books by Colin Classics in future because it's 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 cheap because the paper quality is very very bad. It's okay now, but twenty uh, years from now it will become disgusting. And I want my books to last. So, the second book uh, was from What Was Classics. I was very careful about this. I expected it to be uh, awful, to tell you the truth, because I bought a, um, a hardback copy of the whole a uh, lot of books by Virginia Woolf, this big hard uh, back copy, which immediately started to lose pages. I cannot read it. So I was hesitant about buying a paperback uh, by these uh, publishers. So I bought only one of them. And I bought it by mistakes because I thought that this author, Joseph Conrad was recommended by uh, Steve Donohue to a person who wanted to get into reading of short story collections. I was mistaken. But I don't um, regret buying this book. I went to Wikipedia page and I found out that Joseph Conrad was actually of Polish descendant, uh, although he was a British writer. And he influenced Hemingway and um, Fitzgerald. Both of these are authors I don't really like. But I am looking forward to reading this book and to see for myself what uh, they took from it. And then I suppose it's, um, yes, it's all um, where my online shopping concerned. And then I went to a bookstore and I bought some books there. First of all, I bought uh, the copy of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I tried to listen to this book, uh, which I downloaded for free from Gut Gutenberg Project, but there were too many characters in it, and I decided to buy it in paper version versus to download it for free. <laughs> so I bought it. And then I bought uh, some books by Nabokov. Those are the lectures on literature. In Russia, they are printed in two volumes. One of them is uh, the lectures on Russian literature. He delivered these lectures in English and the notes were made in English and my only regret is that I bought it in translation. I should have probably researched it and find it in the original. Well, then I bought The Illusion Defense by Nabokov. The Illusion, Illusion Defense. I was told by Nastya, uh, Anna um, BBO3AAV, that the language in this book are super, is superb, that the mastery of Russian language, the Nabokov's mastery of Russian language is incredible, and I want to see for myself. Then I bought The Master and Margarita by Bulgakov. 
um, several years back, 20 years back, maybe 20, maybe more than 20 years back. It was a difficult book to find in Russia. They were bought right away after appearing in bookshops. And I lent a copy to somebody and the copy, copy never came back. So I decided to buy it and reread it. I also bought uh, the second book by Narine Abbarian, which wasn't translated in English. Uh, Manunya. Manunya writes a sci-fi novel. I like the first uh, book very, very much. It's about a friendship between an Armenian girl and Manunya, uh, who is Jewish girl, and uh, about the friendship uh, between families. And this is Manunya's family. Uh, you can see <laughs> uh, this is her grandmother and her father. And by the size of the pictures, you can guess who is the head of the family, who holds all the power. The stories are funny, sometimes sad, very light, very, very interesting. And they are basically about friendships that um, existed between different peoples during the Soviet year. But I'm not sure that it would really appeal to um, an English-speaking people because I have uh, a lot of background knowledge, a lot of expectations, a lot of maybe prejudice and cliches I <laughs> and which uh, helped me, uh, which made this book so much more interesting to me. Well, this is uh, all the books I bought to myself, for myself. And one, one book I was given as a gift. It's Alena Mariasova, Two Hours Before Snowing. This book wasn't translated into English. The story behind this book is that this woman, Alena Mariasova, she wrote it, wrote it and self-published it. I know a lot of English-speaking people who self-published their books, but this is the only Russian-speaking uh, author I know about and a Russian-speaking author who self-published her books. I know about and I know about her through my friend. And I think it was a reminder from my friend that we can write books and we can publish them. It probably was a nudge from her. Well, I'm looking forward to reading this book and maybe to be inspired to write my own. Well, thank you for watching and goodbye.